Warcraft is a film based on the popular series of video games and is directed by Duncan Jones, who is actually the son of David Bowie. Yep. Movie based on a series of popular video games that came out in the 90s and the current of PC games. And growing up, I, I wasn't really too familiar with a lot of the Warcraft games. Like, I heard my, some of my friends play them, and I wasn't really that big on RPGs and I, stuff. I, I, I remember that in the 90s and early 2000s, I remember a lot of my friends got into the video games. Yeah. I was just pretty much just sitting back, you know. I liked watching them play, but I didn't pay attention enough to know the names and what what looks right and what yeah. looks wrong, you know. The judge in the movie, like I didn't know anybody's name, any of the characters' names, so I couldn't really judge. But uh, they look fun. Yeah, um, I mean, I've heard just, that they are. I'm not a big RPG guy. I'm place. not either. I mean, I'm not really. I played some RPGs, but I've never really found myself as a fan. Yeah. But going into this film, I was really looking forward to it because, for one, for when I seen that who was behind it, it was actually yeah. Blizzard Entertainment, the yes. company that created the video games. Yep, and that's that's what I think what a lot of future game movies need to start doing is bringing the creators into these. Yeah. Because, like, judging by the gamers from what I've heard from y'all's views is... Uh, you guys say that it is dead on what it's supposed to be for the video game into the movie. So if that's true, then you know maybe that's what they need to start doing is bringing more of these creators onto the movie exactly. Stuff. I can yeah. see that with a lot of video games movies in the past, they have been known for not making any attempt with collaborating with the creators of the video game. So yeah. this one, they finally got a chance to collaborate with the developers of video game that that was based on the PC series. Yeah. So the plot goes. You basically have a war that goes on between the orcs and the humans. And so the orcs are trying to keep the portal out. Or there's a portal that pretty much, is, okay, from what I can understand, this portal that this character called the Guardian creates uh, separates both the orcs and the humans in their world. Yeah, and they so, all are from different uh, worlds. And basically what it is is uh, the, um, oh, I can't think of his name uh the guardian no it starts with a g G goodell goodell he's a goodell i I forgot yeah i'm not sure how you pronounce his name it's like it sounded like it said goodell but anyways he's the big evil warlock of the orcs and he's basically destroying worlds after worlds taking what it looks like souls to build soldiers yeah out of the create more his army even bigger and bigger and bigger and his him getting into this dark magic is really destroying the world he's in. And he's just just like killing the worlds, and then they have to go to another world. Right. It's like he's taking out all these worlds one by one, and basically they come into the humans' world uh, from the beginning of the movie, and it keeps on going from there. That since the war goes on between these, they're trying to at first they're trying to keep the peace with themselves, yeah. and then something goes wrong where not to spoil anything. But some betrayals happen, and there's a battle that ensues. Mm-hmm. So I can say right now that I did enjoy this film. Yeah. I can say that as far as video game movies go, if you're a big fan of the game, I would definitely recommend it really highly. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the ones, like, if you're a big fan of World of Warcraft. Because yeah. I think that, from what I'm gathering, this film takes a lot of liberties from that series as well, and incorporates yeah. into telling its own original story. Yeah. And, so, and this movie does... Ha- Lead off, uh, end off into the war continues. So that's pretty yeah. good. So we're gonna possibly we're gonna be getting more movies of these. Was, visually, 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 it, this movie it, captures it captures the, the world, world very yeah. great. Well, you know, I, I grew up watching the people play, and it looks dead on. Like these characters, like they didn't change anything. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. it, you can see all the architecture they put in. I mean, yes. most of it's all computerized, sure, but you can see the the it's the, done right. The the, the the computer work that they put into making this world, it, it's kind of like if you cross Lord of the Rings with like, as an RPG, which yeah. is, I think that's what Warcraft might have been inspired yeah. by. Um, and a lot of it is computerized, but it was done right. You can computerize anything, but it depends how you do it. I've seen some movies doing the same exact thing, but destroyed the looks just looked off yeah. and everything. This was like really good. Yeah, like, you can, and it you can almost too. not tell... In some sense, where it is CGI, it's done so good, you could say CGI practical, you could say yeah. anything. And that's so, nothing. I, that's, that's what I love about some CGI. I'm not a big CGI fan, but if you can do it right like that... Yeah, I'd say yeah. really, the, the CGI really incorporate, encompasses 
the characters as well because the characters what they look like do resemble a lot from what the, what they look like in the games yes. and a lot of the textures they use but I also love too with this film is they were able to render both CGI and use uh, practical effects yeah. they, they use a lot of good makeup for some yeah. characters yeah that's what uh, I did like and yeah like you said in some very little scenes do they have full on practical but it's still done right so visually in cinematography this movie captures the atmosphere very well it does and yeah. And the characters themselves, going into that, I love some of the character. I love most of the characters of the film because it seemed like they did capture a lot of what the games were like, even though they played them. Yeah. But like, I, I love the character. Okay, first, I like the character of the main orc guy. I forgot his name. I can't remember. I'm not familiar with a lot of the characters' names here. But it's the main green orc yeah. from the cover. You yeah, know, from the cover you who, usually who, see. Yeah. Who has his story going on where he has a wife and a child and he's trying to keep the peace between the, the orcs and the humans. He's on the orc side, but then he realizes, he sees that the Godel, the, the evil master of from the orc nation, is pretty much, he's tearing nations and worlds apart. Yeah. And he's killing everything and he doesn't, he, did, he just, he, he kind of goes rogue and wants to be kind of helping the humans out. And he sees the bad, the, the horribleness this guy's doing. Yeah, yeah. And I especially love the. I also like the uh, the character the the. I forgot his name. The the sorcerer, sorcerer guy. Yeah. The, the one the sorcerer. who has the, the the one who follows the guardian. He's trying to learn the guardian. The guardian. He's trying to learn the guardian's power. He yeah. And he really pulled a lot of the uh, integrity, and I thought he was really cracked. I, cracked jokes. He was really somewhere. catchy. I, and I, that's the one thing this fault of the movie did wrong is I wish they would have focused more on him. Yeah. But then again, if it the games do focus more on the, the, the I guess the night and stuff. I'm I think they do. Yeah. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone who's who's played the games, let us know in the comments if some of the characters are from like are like the games or if they have the same abilities and, and things like that. Yeah. And and we also have the uh, the, the girl uh, the Venora. I think is her name was. I can't. I'm not familiar with the name, so I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it right, but Paula Patton's character. Paula Patton's yeah. character, who is captured, she's not an actual orc, she's a, she's not even a human either. She's kind of like a hybrid. Yeah, like a hybrid, like like a mix, maybe an orc might have been with a, a human. We don't know. We don't know, but uh, there's a lot of... leave that out, and maybe you guys know that answer in your video games. Maybe they tell you that in the videos. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. For, for what... For, it's kind of hard for somebody like me, like a lot of people, it's kind of hard to make movies like these. These games are like really loved in the world. I mean, these were big in my They days. were, yeah. And early 90, or late 90s, early 2000s, they were huge. And there's still a big following. It's there just is. whenever people like me and him go and see something, we want to see it. And we, we, it looks really good, and we want to go in there. It kind of throws us off because we don't know the arc story of what's going on. Yeah, when we go into the film like this, we, we usually go into it as a film, unless yeah. it's unless we played the games before, you know, because yeah. there's been video game, video game adaptations where we played the games, but the movies didn't really follow it too well. But yeah. this one, what I loved that is that this, the orc storyline encompasses a lot of betrayals, it encompasses a lot of uh, love, it, it carries a lot of emotional integrity to what they're doing. Yes. And also, I especially love Ben Foster's character, the yeah, Guardian. Ben Foster. He really he, poor he off. Poor I, I off. liked him. Yeah, he did really good. I heard the Guardian is a big, big role in the games. You know, you have to get this guy yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the power he has because when I when I first seen him I was like, you know what he's kinda of remind me of? He's kinda of remind me of Gandalf with yeah. the only if Gandalf with, with he could basically have any kind of powers he wants. Yeah. You know. But anyway the uh, another thing too I love is also the 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 score. The score mm. is very it, it captures, you, the, it fantasy captures the fantasy world in a yeah. really good way. It has that really epic boom that you would hear in like think movies similar to it, like Lord of the Rings yeah. or Harry Potter or things like that. You know, it has it puts you in that right mindset of when you're listening to the tracks, especially the main theme they play in the very beginning. So pretty much, uh, my pros in this movie: the visual cinematography, the land, the mountains, beautiful. Uh, I love it captured the game from what I've seen my friends play. I love yeah. it captured that from judging by you guys who play the game. Uh, I do like how you guys said it captures, they captured every, like, the looks and everything is dead on. And they played very well with those characters, judging by the people who play the game. Exactly. The, actor. the actors, um, m m most of them I do. Those my cons. Um, the 3D was good. It's just, I don't think it could have should have been a 3D movie per se, because I didn't really see anything come out of the screen. I had that feeling too. When so, I watched the 3D, okay, my cons are like his, where 
My the 3D was good. It's just that they they're other than probably like a few parts with the actual. They don't really do anything. They don't really do a lot of like depth perception. Even though it looks fine, it doesn't look blurry. Yeah, it just it's not really a big problem. Yeah, I'm not gonna nitpick on. But it's just just just, it didn't have that atmospheric that you're expecting to be put into this world. Because I love that kind of 3D. Yeah, the 3D did they you could tell they didn't focus on 3D even though it was shot in 3D. It wasn't their main focus. I guess that can be a good thing because sometimes they. Some films they look at the three D part and then they just they care about that so much they forget they are making the fucking exactly. Movie. But anyways, that I like uh, that uh, that or that was my con. Another con, I th- I think that the actor that played the the main knight the 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 brother of the yeah. of the queen. Uh, they probably could have gotten another actor for that one. I agree because that guy he seemed like very plain like he, he did. just didn't i, he I had, had the no, same problem he, yeah. he was very uncharis very uncharismatic he was cracking a couple of jokes here and there but i was just kind of thinking when i looked at him i was like okay now you're like the the not paul rudd because he kind of looks like him in a way yeah it's like a paul rudd would round the set and put a british accent on yeah and he just i i, I didn't really care about his story because he was just trying to go this he was trying to move this story arc with him and his son and i was kind of like I really don't care. They're trying to do the main story arc where it is him and the son, but they don't spend so much time they don't. on them, so why make them the story arc? That's what I'm saying. I mean, we could have. this could have been really done. I know that some of you might disagree and say that it might not be part of the, the game, so I don't want, I don't it's, quote me wrong, but I would wish that they would have focused on the sorcerer, but if that's not the focus, then y'all can comment and say, no, nah, it's supposed to be about the night, okay. Yeah. But I would I was really want to hear more and learn more about the sorcerer more that yeah, I was tonight. because yeah. he at least seemed like he was catching on because he was learning things. He, he's like what well, me and you would be if we yeah. were in a movie, and yeah. we're we're following. You're following through our perspective, yeah. you know. But anyway, yeah, that's one of my cons. Another thing too is even though it picked up in the second half, yeah. that first act was kind of this. They, they tried to explain so much with the world that's going on, and maybe this is something that you probably uh, catch is they didn't really, and I'm sure they do this in the games, the background. You know, we're kind of just thrown in there, and we're supposed to already know what's happening in the world. Yeah. You know. Uh, maybe they could have done a little bit more explaining for, because you know you're gonna draw in everybody to come see this. They could have done a little bit better for people who's never played the games, kind of tell us through the credits what's building up to yeah. this. Maybe we would understand a little bit more. Another thing that I have to say that when you write movies and then you do like a whole half of a movie, which can go as uh, long as an hour and 10, 15 minutes. That can get kind of boring when you that okay we're gonna get the love scene I get that it's build up but you gotta kind of mix it up a little bit kind of get us like more like off our edge of our seats because it was really like love scene then finally the action and and a lot of kind of remind me of Full Metal Jacket we love the first half but the second half kind of really went here like you know even though it's overall still a good movie yeah uh, it's like that because instead it's switched around it's the first half like eh. And then like, oh, okay, now it's getting a lot better. Yeah, so. that's my problem too. Like, I understand you're supposed to have exposition dialogue to explain a lot of things, but they're like they throwing, mixed it they're up. throwing things like left and right in our head. Like, okay, did you also, slow down a little? Did bit, you? Really. Yeah, that was another thing. Not only do they do that wrong, but I also had the problem with them kind of like uh, rushing. They're rushing to, and then they slow down. Like, yeah, they started out kind of. Too fast. I'm like, slow down, slow down. And it yeah. finally did, but it slowed down to the love. Shot. Yeah, it kept going up yeah. and down. It, it, yeah. it was, it was the, t- the, the direction was like off and on, you know. But, but overall, but over- this, uh, with all those, it's still a great movie. I yeah. enjoyed it. I, I, yeah, it's I, visually beautiful. The I do like the film. I, I can just see that. Uh, there's probably some things I kind of seen a little bit more. Like I kind of wish we could get some more story with some of the characters we've seen yeah. because there's really like there wasn't much to it other than. Your bare basics. I do you know? like. There's a lot of twists in this film that That's I did not see coming, and I thought they would not go this direction. But it twists a lot, and I enjoyed a lot of the twists. It kind of like I was like, whoa, you know, I didn't yeah. see that coming, and I do like that. That's always good with a movie, uh, you know. So mine is too. Like I love the twists they had. It's just that some of them, a couple of them, I didn't really buy too much. Like and, and we, I like it gives us also like the the emotional ro- roller coaster too with emotions with the sad some stuff that happens in the film. Yeah. You feel some of it, and I do like that. I'm glad that they add some of that into the film, too. Me, too. Yeah, I do. Oh, and also, one real quick. 
the the brutality was good too for the oh, action. Oh, the brutality! Like, yeah, I love a, the fights. I love the. Fights. I love, especially yeah. when you have one on one fights. You got like a lot of fights that resemble stuff that that from the games. Yeah, they really captured the brutal and the the really good fantasy element with that. So, so overall, I'm going to give the movie a seven point five out of ten. I had some problems here and there, but over, but I can say it's pro one of the better video game adaptations that we've had in years. Yes, it is. And I yeah. recommend anyone that's a big Warcraft fan to definitely check it out. Uh, and if you're a casual movie goer, you might like it too. I mean, I know it's been kind of split with audiences, but yeah. for me, I do like it for what it tried to do with incorporating yeah. stuff in the game and trying to yeah. appeal to an audience like I'll, us. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I do want to try out the game sometime so I can kind of get to know, like, if, you know, so I can kind of know who these characters really are. So I'm going to go back and YouTube, maybe watch. Maybe even one day I'll play some of them so I can kind of get more into it. I'm not a big RPG guy. But I do appreciate that they did make this movie, and for overall, I don't know nothing about it, but to me, I think they captured the game very well. I do From too. what I've seen, yeah. I, I, and uh, for them attempting, it's a better attempt than what we've seen in you know other video game movies that come out really bad. Yeah. But this was actually really good. I actually like this. It's 8 out of 10 for me. And we hope you all get a chance to go check out Warcraft. And if you will, if you can't, if you like what you see here, subscribe to us at Film Freaks. You can check us out on Facebook and on Twitter and on Google Plus. And we'll be catching up with more reviews coming in the future. See, see ya. ya.